Now last time I used this paper and my wadded up little pieces of colored papers to represent the selected element off the periodic table in making my atom model. Now what I'm going to use are some supplies you might have at home. I have some chenille pipe cleaner and I have three different colored beads and the beads I have in the proper number to coordinate with the proton, neutron, and electron configuration. All right. So first let's start with our nucleus. So we're going to put nine protons and I'm going to use pink and we're going to have 10 neutrons and I'm going to use green. Then for my electrons, we will use yellow. So let's get started with the nucleus. Okay, so, so far I've gone ahead and put on the pipe cleaner my protons and neutrons. Okay, so we slide the last one on. Now what I'm going to do is kind of uh, ball this up to represent the nucleus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a loop and then pinch this together, twist it like a bread tie, and then kind of twist up this nucleus section. All right, so I've bread tie type twisted this. Now to wad this up. All right, so here is my nucleus. And I leave enough at the top so that I can, can, uh, can attach the other pipe cleaner to make the K shell an L shell, right? All right. Hang on just a second. Okay, so I've just kind of twisted this one around the base and this will represent the first shell or K. All right, so here's my K shell. And then what I've done is I've made like a little knot there. So it sits on top of it. And I did that for both of these, okay? So there is my K shell with my nucleus of protons and neutrons, my K shell with two electrons. Now I need to take the remaining nine electrons, subtract it from the two, means I'm gonna have seven in my L shell. Now it might take me these two pieces of pipe cleaner, so I have a large enough loop to make some distance around there so that you can see it, all right? So I'm going to do a little pause. I'll show you a little bit more. Pause, come back, and you'll be able to see the object, my L shell, as I'm making it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and strung this on. I've got two, three, four, five, six, and my seventh electron. Now, one of the ways in which I make these little knots here to help kind of keep these guys in place is that you could use like the, the tip of a screwdriver or you can just use your pencil, right? And so what I do is I will wrap this around in order to create a knot, but I'm gonna make sure and do it on the underside like I did with these guys here so that when I hang it, the bead will stay in place. Something like this. So I've wrapped it around there and then I'm going to pinch these guys together, then that will make a knot similar to what this one is, okay? And to help in the tying off process, I've just run the pipe cleaner through the top two electrons, and here's the end of it here, and I'll finish pulling it out until I can make a nice loop, and then I'm going to fold it back over this way. All right. So there we go. I just kind of looped it over the back, twisted it up around here. And so now I have left just enough at the top so that I can hang this. All right, so you can see there are, there's my nucleus, there's the K shell and my L shell with my electrons and protons and neutrons. And you can kind of twist your shells to fit however you want. All right, good luck guys.